Hello everyone, it's me the Chucks Mad, it's been you another Chucks Mater commentary. Um, as you can see here, it's another general mod video. Um, in this video I've got three different mods in use. I've got the, uh, as you can see here, the, uh, what's this mod? Hang on, it's in there. There, the Ray Lewis uh, mod, which I'm guessing is a football player. Um, this mod, as you can see, is a truck trailer combo pack, uh, which was created by... Uh, Vogens. Um Now the interior, uh, this one, this is a separate mod, this is created by Landwer Landwer 123 um, which I think is a really nice looking interior and then you'll hear a new sound mod in here um, that is um, created by Balu 79 nvp these mods can be found on um, well, I'll post down the links to the mods in the description of the video, as always, so you guys can check them all out. Um, so let's get driving. Um, I'm expecting it to only be a short video, it's just a few different things. Um, SCS Software has posted a few different uh, stuff about um, on the blog about the DLC and other stuff. So if I just get into that quickly, uh, once again, I sort of failed to prepare for this video. I've spent, like, basically the last hour preparing for the video, like finding out the modern stuff and then just everything else just sort of flee my mind. So yes, um, basically, oh well this is a cool sound mod actually. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's get the uh, this is after blog on. Now I don't really, I do sort of need it but I don't because I sort of know what they said. Um, one of the things um, was about um, why they've had to actually create or split the map up into sections for the DLC. It didn't really go into much detail about why, but we sort of know why. Now I'm in the wrong gear. Um, I'm gonna do really badly. For some reason my game is lagging like mad. Exterior! Thanks. Oh wow. Okay, you can really hear the sound one up here. Oh wow. Uh, no, that's wrong. That one. There we go. So now I'm relying on the sound to uh, change gear. Yeah. Okay, so basically... Uh, cool. So my frame rate is currently at 13, which is alright. Um, but I will talk about the DLC, I think, later. They talk about stuff regarding the DLC and stuff. But first, um, there has been an update today, which isn't the usual, uh, isn't the usual update about ETS2 or anything like that. There is a bunch of scammers going around, uh, well, no, there's, there's a website. Oh, God. Oh, good God. Turn. Um... <laughs> There is a scam website um, to do with um, ETS2 online multiplayer, um, which basically it, you fill out a questionnaire and stuff. It, it makes it seem at first like it's. Uh, there we go. Oh wow, this is so quick. It makes it seem at first that um, it's the the legit thing. It's the Euroshock Simulator online. Um, so you fill out a questionnaire, you fill out your details, and then all of a sudden they just sort of. They, they, I don't know, I haven't actually looked at it in great detail, I haven't gone to the website because I don't really know how it works, I don't want to join the website, be put, sort of pulled in to fill out this questionnaire, and then all of a sudden, oh no, they've got my bank account stuff and everything else. But, I mean, the way it works, you fill out a questionnaire as far as I understand, then you, they, you fill out something to do with your bank account details, and then they, they take out money in your account, basically. It's a fraud website, um, which really is no good. Uh, my trailer is 22 tons. Why do I have sh oh, I've got sugar. Man, why do I have such a heavy trailer? Okay, gear 8. Um, but yeah, so basically you do want to watch out for that website. Um, SCS Software did post a blog spot about it. Um, they have posted more about multiplayer in this blog post, because obviously this is kind of a big issue for them. It's to do with their, their game. It's their users, which are, well their fans, which are being unfortunately fooled by it. Um, and obviously it's to do with an issue which they are fully aware of um, but they can't do nothing about. So obviously, oh hello, oh do we actually get single lane roads? Oh wow, okay I didn't see that, we get a decent road. Ah oh, sweet, okay, I honestly didn't look at the roads that we travel on. I just sort of took the trailer and thought this is the one I want so I'm going to take it in. And it turns out we get some 22 tons and we get the difficult road. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. Right, well at least it makes for an interesting video, sort of, because i got to try and do several things at once now. Um, but yeah, so SEO Software have now touched on uh, multiplayer a little bit more, um, and that is mainly the fact that they, they've basically said they are aware, 
the people who want multiplayer, they've been thinking about it, how do they get it in the game, how do they make multiplayer work? Um, but you can't, it's it's incredibly difficult, it's not like, <sighs> like, like what they say, it would basically take, turn, it would basically turn, the, they'd have to turn the game into an MMO, for those of you that don't know, it's a, that's a massive multiplayer online game. Um, now there's also MMORPGs, which are massive multiplayer online role-playing games. You know, just throwing my little nerdy bit there. But yeah, um, it would take a massive amount of work. It's not like a racing game where it's one set course, or, you know, it's, it's, it's literally only one course that the game has to load at a time. It's not this entire world with all this other stuff going on. It's like, on Minecraft, for example, if I take that into account, they've got multiplayer, and some servers, if you've not got a big server, you have to refresh every... Uh, you, you, they have to restart the server because it loads chunks, as some of you may know, um, and when it loads too many chunks, the game starts to lag a lot. And online, I believe it, you, you can only load a certain amount of trun chunks. So if you have a lot of people, you all be, and you all go in different directions, like someone's over there and someone's down here, it loads the separate chunks, and each time you drive, say you drive down that road, that will load chunks. And if you, someone else drives down along that motorway, that will load more chunks. So you've got these chunks being loaded simultaneously, because it can't just load this one for this guy and this lot for this guy, because it's white player, they have to load all at the same time. Um, which, obviously then, is that a glitch that I found? The red line sort of comes bigger. Oh man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's why it can't just be made straight away like that, which is kind of a shame, but it's not really, it's just, just well, it definitely is a shame, but there's nothing we can do about it. SES Software have, have been thinking about it, they are aware of it, they've touched on multiplayer quite a lot, but there's not really a lot that they can do about it, because it's just, it's not going to happen. Maybe, maybe one day when they've, SES Software get more money, they can get servers up and running which will allow for such a vast world to load but you need there's a lot of things to, to take into consideration like for example um, lag of a, of a game um, some people if you play oh god have I got oh crap oh no <laughs> I just passed a fuel station and I have to sleep I'm going to turn around um wait I love this sound mod this sound mod is actually really oh wow okay Right, let's do that, and then we do... Uh, oh, wow, okay, that's cool. It makes, like, squeaky, squeaky sounds and stuff. Let's go outside to listen to it, oh. and so that I can see where I'm going. But that's not really why. Um, okay, oh, good God, sorry. So it has a bit of swing. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so, okay, gear four. Um, you, the, like, when it comes to Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 2, for example, some players on there lag massively, they jump. You, you, you try and shoot them and then it's like they jump and according to their screen they're going fine but someone else it'll be it's different and on this you, you're not facing one little player you're facing a big truck which will jump and obviously that's not that's not good um, it does the same on call of, you know, on minecraft even and there's nothing you can do to prevent it as far as I know except get a better internet connection or play on a server which is close to where you live so you've got a decent ping for example if I played on a server that is based in France I believe that means a server is then sort of over in France and blah de blah de blah it, it just it, it, it lags a bit more I think that's how it works don't quit me on it um, but yeah um, so basically it would be just incredibly difficult to do and like I said plenty of other times oh god um, I was in the outside view I wanted to listen to the truck oh wow this is really nice Nice sound mod. Um, but yeah, it, it, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of thinking, and it, it, because you've got to try and work out these problems. And uh, Oh, did I stop? What game am I in? Gear 7. Well, at least I can do this. I think, yeah. Okay, indicate. Um, and I'm going to have to look. Oh no, no! Why do you roll backwards and go? There we go. So now I'm waiting to turn left. No. I love this sound mod. It's got all the squeaking and stuff. It's really, it's a nice sound mod. I didn't realise it had so much when I installed it. Um, but oh, I installed it. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. But yeah. So totally download this sound mod. Um, but unfortunately, that's SCS software and multiplayer and people using multiplayer to get money off people, which is really just outrageous. Although it works. That's the problem with it. It's a business idea, and 
and it works. It, it makes people money because there are people that think, oh yeah, this is legit, and I'm going to pay for multiplayer. I don't know how they, how people pay for the money. Why they ask for money if they give a reason, like click here to download a thing that you have to pay because it costs money to make or something. You know, maybe if they're trying to pass it off as like a DLC. I'm not so not sure how that works. I mean, they've got to have some sort of reason as to why people actually have to insert their credit card details for it to for uh, for to ah to insert the uh, yeah they've got to have a reason for people to insert their credit card details otherwise people are going to be like well why should I do that and then they're like because because you should that's why because because we ask you to we give you this more you give us your banking details so that we can take your money whenever we want you know, that's sort of how it works, and unfortunately people are falling for it, and it's become an issue which... I mean, granted, OCS Software are great on this issue, I like them, because for this matter. Because they have posted it on their blog, and they have really taken note of it, and are standing up for us as their fans, and they are letting us all know. So here I am, letting you guys know, uh, not to bother with any of that. Um, but not, not to really not to fall for it even. I haven't even, this is the first I've heard of it on their blog, but obviously it must be quite big for it to go out. Now, um, the next thing on their blog, which I shall talk about because I have nothing better to do, and it's night time! Of course it is! I have an interior which I want to show out, a truck and trailer, and it is bloody night time. 11.47, which means it's not even the darkest part, so I'm going to have to drive through the night, try and talk, and let you guys listen to me. Uh, uh, but, on the plus side, you get to listen to my video and it's a longer video. Ah! Oh god, that's close. I bet that guy was like, he's not going to stop, he's not going to stop that car. That car driver must have been panicking and just been like, oh god. He's probably still panicking though, to be fair. He's probably like, he's probably thinking this truck driver is going to kill me at some point today. It may not be now. It may not have been then. But he will do. Because of just what happened. Um, but yes, no, stop it, please. Stop. Okay, um, so. The good thing is, I remember reading on this, um, the DLC post and that, um, and, and I've actually sort of managed to recap in my- What are you doing? I didn't tell you to go back, did I? I'm talking to the phone, don't I? Um, but yeah, um, I've managed to sort of recap quite easily now what is actually going on. Because when I read the DLCs, when I first read them, I do try and engrave it into my head so that I can sort of just look at it and think, oh yeah, that's, that's that. Because um, otherwise I'll end up clueless. You guys will be like, wait, what's going on now? Oh, he's looking at his phone because he's so I'm totally prepared and just rubbish at this whole videoing malarkey and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. Uh, I mean, technically I still am because I'm still on my phone looking at um, the SS of the blog, jogging my memory because I'm not smart enough to do that beforehand. But, you know, it works. Sort of, not really, actually. Um, I actually like this sound mod. It sounds alright, actually. I quite like it. Um, but I need to change my gear, I think. Let's put it into a lower one. Um, it's sort of hard to believe that RCS software used real sounds. Like, real sound Scania sounds. Oh yeah, for the record, this the, the, the skin only works on Scania's, I think. But the mod pack, no, the sound pack, from what I could hear, from what I could see in the mod. I haven't tried it on other trucks, but I think it works with other, with other trucks because I opened up, when I download the mods for these videos, I'm extremely cautious with mods, um, and so I've been opening, I've opened these ones up in the, in the .scs form and looked at what's actually in them to make sure they're right. Um, so because obvi obviously I don't really want to download a mod which has something in it which will be like, yeah, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna let you work now. Um, or a, a mod which just adds extra stuff without telling anyone. This one luckily doesn't, but it has files for other trucks, like sound files and stuff, and folders, so I'm thinking it might work for other trucks, although it is on the website um, called the Scania V8 Sound or whatever. But, you know, that's cool. Um, anyways, so on with the, uh, on with the blog again, um, and then probably talk more about the mods when it becomes daytime! Um, or at least try and show it off a lot more. Um, so, uh... Let's just, I'm just gonna have a quick read. There's a lot of bugs, apparently. Oh yes, of course! This first one, I think, is about... Uh, I'm not sure if it's about... Uh, yeah. Okay, so basically the the main part of this blog update, which you want to focus on, is they, they, they basically, they just meant, they list a few things which are going to be added. Um, they're trying to push more fidelity 
into the map. Like more objects, new objects, improved forest with larger density, which I must say, that driven me through the roof. Um, that is one thing that I'm really excited about with this DLC. I think that's going to be brilliant to see. Because, I mean, I love driving, I love real life driving through forests and stuff. I think it's really nice to sort of, you get, I, I just think in real life the sounds of forests and trees and birds and wildlife and stuff is awesome. And then a V8 comes by and it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to sort of walk past you all. But that's, I don't know why, but for some reason that sounds quite nice. I like it all. Um, but yeah, so hopefully um, it, when they do larger forests they will also think about the sounds and the fact that there will be more birds and types of birds. I have heard the wildlife in the game and it is really nice. One thing that's a shame is they haven't actually got rabbits and deer in the game. I remember in trucks and trailers um, they had deer and rabbits in the game and I thought they'd bring it back out into this game but they haven't which is a shame because I liked those stuff but hopefully um, hopefully they do in, a, in maybe an update or something like that just just to sort of satisfy everyone because it was it was really nice to see that those that stuff um but yes also with this this blog update is also just a few photos unfortunately of just the one bridge ah! but it is oh crap eight percent oh really eight percent oh yes i forgot to yeah uh we'll forget about that um but yeah um they've got one bridge and it i say it's just one bridge it is a really impressive bridge which they have done which i like it's a nice bridge um basically as you lot know um, from this game, they have tried getting more involved with the trains. They have tried bringing the trains closer to the road so that you can see them more, like they cross the, the train crossings and stuff, and it's really nice to see. But this, the train is on the same bridge as the truck, so we can drive alongside the train, um, which I think is really nice. It's sort of, it's almost like a different bridge, but it's not. If you look at it properly, it's not, it's not a different bridge, it's the same bridge, just at least I think that's the same, it might be the, 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 it's almost the same bridge, but it's a different bridge. But basically, the train is right next to the, where you drive, so you can drive alongside the tracks and see a train drive past, which I think is really, really exciting. That's going to be a, a really nice, that's going to be something which I'm going to look for in the new update. Just, I mean, I love getting closer to the actual things of ETS2, the, the trees and the trains and everything like that, you know? I think that's going to be brilliant. Um, it's just... Uh, yeah, I just think that's going to be brilliant, getting closer to it all. So, I'm really looking forward to the DLC. Then they posted some more general photos. They've pa they've posted, they've actually done two blog posts of the DLC. It's part one and part two of a sneak peek of the DLC. Um, they still haven't given us a d uh, date yet at all. Um, but I expect it will be released after the newest update, which is... Um, after the newest update, which is going to be in a few weeks. Maybe a couple now because it was a, a last week that they said that it'd be a couple of weeks or more than a week away so yeah I'm just gonna I'm just sort of es uh, escalating that but whether or not it works is there. Um, so basically the next blog update is the one that's about um, the map sections. Why they've had to split the map into sections and basically I think their software the, that they use to create this Prism 3D I believe it is um, can't cope with such a large map in one section so they have to uh oh get nine so they, they've had to split it up into sections so that it works um which is fair enough but the only problem with that is they've had to bug fix bug test it all again for so i don't know why that is um i really don't know why that is but they've had to oh wait nine hours eight minutes eight hours 50 oh crap i'm doing really badly for time uh, i think i need to overtake this guy then no, wait, what? I'm confused. What's going Oh, man. Oh, look, I need to overtake this guy now. I'm going to put some roadblocks in front of him instead. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm running behind schedule here. Behind schedule. I'm slightly wishing it I didn't choose this delivery now. It was urgent, and I didn't look at the map and and stuff. Um, my truck is 22 turns, which means it's going to be a bugger to over... Oh, crap. Uh, no, I was in the right gear. Gear 2. Uh, but, yeah. So they've got to do that now, which means it's going to take even longer to uh, to release the DLC, but hopefully not that long. Um, but they've posted some more pictures and stuff. This second, this second part of the update, I don't think uh, I don't think was really that exciting for me. Um, it, it was mostly just focusing on the fact they've had to do that. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, I think I mentioned about the um, splitting the map up into sections in a few, a few videos ago, maybe in the last video, because um, obviously for map mods, that could cause a problem, since uh, whether, whether or not it, I don't, I don't know whether it will cause a problem, but it might do, because obviously that's then editing the actual map. So obviously their map will then be outdated and stuff, but because this um, splitting up into sections I believe is going to be implemented in the next update. It's currently in the beta build for ETS2, um, so the beta testers have it. So, oh man, I should have gone right, that may have overtaken that guy, or just increased my journey time. But all I know is I've got to go faster. And there's a, there's a, ah! the one time I can overtake and there's a vehicle coming the other way, I think. There better be, otherwise I'm just going to, yeah, there's not a vehicle coming the other way, so. Damn it, I could have overtaken. Uh, okay, come on, speed up. Oh wow, what? My lights just flashed. Like the guy behind me is telling me to, uh... Oh god, oh good god. Man, I knew it'd be trouble overtaking, but I didn't realise it'd be that much. Okay, I'm pulling back in. I've got to overtake though! 8 hours, 39, 8 hours... Oh crap, I'm nearly an hour behind now. And I've got to sleep in 7 hours and a half. I've really been going for that long. Oh, okay. But come on, please. I want it to be daytime. It's, it's giving me every time I can have, but not in daytime. I want to be able to show off the mods and all of a sudden, and, and just just my luck, it's night time. I don't want to be late, but I'm going to have to be. Um, can I sleep anywhere? No, of course not. They don't allow sleeping. Which is just perfect. It's like everything is just going against me. The truck in front of me, the times. The, 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 the times, like, my ETA is going up. Um, and, and, and my sleep, time until next rest stop and time remaining is going down um, and then just look at my my clock that doesn't seem to be going the way that I want it I want it to be going up and a lot there's not even any lights who builds a road like this and doesn't put any lights down I mean come on this is this is a fantastic mod and uh, there's a layer. I'm going to overtake anyway with a bit of luck I will be successful it is, I think no fines, excellent um, does that mean there's going to be a train or not? I hope not. Let's slow down for the track, so... Because obviously I don't... Oh wait, there is going to be a train! Oh crap! OH CRAP! Oh god. Oh, thank god for that! <laughs> you can't go... <laughs> oh god! Oh man! <laughs> I have never ever tried doing that before! Oh god! And... Um, when I do try, it just goes terribly wrong for me. It's like, wait, does that mean it's going to be, I can't see the light, I couldn't see the lights flashing, and so I imagined that there wasn't going to be a train, and I saw them, I was like, oh, I'm going to go for it, like, the train has to stop anyway before the bikes go down, it's like, damn, too late, because sometimes, if you're the first vehicle there, or maybe the second, um, oh god, gear 9 now, maybe the second, the train stops, um, because so that you can't, get trapped on the tracks like I almost did and I thought I did uh, just then I thought that the barrier had come down between me and the truck the, no the truck and the trailer so I couldn't go anywhere but it didn't it just it creates an invisible wall that you can't go through which kind of sucks it'd be cool if I could get stuck like that and then and then at least it was a quick train anyway but yeah that was that went badly for me um but I'm late and now there's nothing in front of me which is nice so now I can just blast it uh, I need someone that changes my horn next I hope they just want it, but it doesn't. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that... What was I talking about? I can't remember. Trains and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, now, actually, I just remembered what I did want to talk about. Yes! So glad I remembered. That would be... Um, wait a minute. I don't think I mentioned one thing that I was going to mention. No, I didn't. I was looking at the blog and I was thinking, I'm going to mention this, and I almost mentioned it, then I didn't, and then I just heard about it. So I figured I would mention it. That would be, just quickly, uh, back to the first, back to part one of the DLC update, um, <laughs> which is about, it, it, it mentions the countries which will be included in the, in the DLC. The DLC will contain the rest of Poland, Slovakia, and a part of Hungary, um, including Budapest, and the 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 Brecken the Brecken I think that's how you pronounce it um so yeah that's that for you and it was that that part which I just read out or was it sorry was just why am I stuck behind another truck didn't even realise it until now I'm good at not looking at my game and still not crashing 
<laughs> um, unless I did look and I just forgot about it, I don't know. But yeah, um, that quote of the blog which I just read out was like just above the quote which I read out earlier. Um, so yeah, how did I miss the bit that I was going to read out and not the bit which I didn't want to read out? Come on, please let me overtake you. Please be okay with this. Please don't come anywhere near me. Please. 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 Oh, good God. Thanks, pal. Now, did he just flash and let me in? I hope he did. I think he did. He wants to know. Um, but yeah, so... That's that. Anyways, um, back to what I was going to talk about. Um, I go on the SCS Software Forum quite a lot, and today I found something really, really, really good. Um, a lot of you may remember my UK Truck Simulator ICRF map mod video showcase thingy. Um, well, uh, yeah, the gear eight, I think, is the right one. Yeah, or gear seven actually. Um, where the ICRF Indonesian Country Roads um, map, uh, what uh, Indonesian Country Road? What's the F? I can't remember. But yeah, um, ICRF. I know. I'll turn them off. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's getting daytime again. Let's have a look. Woo! We can see it slowly. Not quite in full beauty, but we can see the red as well. Thank God for that. Right. So it's currently half full. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, um, the the ICRF map is being recreated in ETS2 by the original creator Evergreen19 something. Um, so I did. Um, but yeah, um, so if you guys want to go and check that out, I'll post a link to that blog post in the uh, forum post uh, topic in the description of the video as well. Um, I'll also I'll, I'll stick a transition at the end of the video or something. Transition? I don't know. Um, but I'll stick something to link you to my old UKTS ICRF. Um, it, it's got a playlist with all the videos in, so you guys can go check that out. Um, that was a brilliant map. I absolutely loved that map, and it's one thing that I have really wanted back in ETS2. Um, so hopefully Evergreen, the creator, can really make it similar to the original, because the original has got to be my favourite UKTS map of all time. Um, I use some other map mods quite a lot, but I think Indonesia, when it comes to just amazingness, was up there. Um, the maps coming out for ETS2 are really good. There's too many nice ones, there's too many good ones, but from what I know of the ICRF and Evergreen's work, I think that one may, be, may, may top them all. I don't know. I mean, I there's so many nice ones, and there's so many I would love to try and video. But whether or not you guys would just want, would just want a bombardment of maps, I mean, I don't know whether there'd be a way that you guys think I could do. I could video each and every map, where it's not an entire series, but I mean, it still shows off a lot of the map. I mean, obviously, I mean, some maps like the um, the one that I'm doing at the moment, uh, a video came out for last week. Um, I need to think at eleven really. Um, that is basically just a whole series, and I've not really got far into it. That's a big map, and that's the problem with it. I like to be able to show off a large portion of the mod, and I can't if, obviously, uh-oh, 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 uh -oh, hard shoulder, uh-oh. I can't, obviously, if, if it's so big, I can't show off as much as what I'd like. But there's so many good map mods, I want to be able to show off more, and it's rather frustrating, because I don't know what I can do about it, whether... I just record constantly again, which I could try, could try, and, oh, really? Um, at least I'm going downhill, so it doesn't really matter too much. Maybe it does, though. My truck seems to have lost all its, most of its speed anyway, but, yeah, whether you guys would like, can think of a way for me to do it where I can do loads of different map mods, and still, and not, I don't really want to bring out, here's a map mod, here's another one, here's a, another one, like, a video every day of a different map mod, then you guys have to try and keep up with certain map mods that you like, um, for example, I'm not saying that map creators and mod creators in general watch my videos, um, but obviously if there's a mod creator or a map that just wants to watch the ones that I do of his map, then it's going to be fairly difficult if somebody just wants to watch one of a certain map, then it's not so easy to keep track of it, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, but if you guys have any ideas, uh, feel free. It's like, with these map, with these other mods, the skins, and the sound and stuff, I can do it all in one video because it's easy. It's I scan your sound pack, I scan your skin, a trailer, and an interior. I can just look for those, put it all in, it's all I can just use it as one mod. But map mods obviously really different. And I love map mods because they take a lot more time to create. Now am I gonna be I think I'm just gonna last the whole video, aren't I? 
this was not planned to go on for this long but hey ho um but yeah map mods take a lot longer than this with these videos i with this video series i can just sort of like i just said put several mods together in one video and say here's a list of mods which i like all in one go um but unfortunately i can't do that with map mods i can't just be like here's a list of maps that i like i have to i have to really look at them in depth and i can't cover five different map mods in one video because that's kind of difficult i haven't tried it though maybe i should no it might crash it would definitely crash actually um but yeah so ideas please on that one um if you want to show see lots of maps or if you like the how i'm doing the maps at the moment where i mean i could uh, try and upload more again now um i seem to have more free time and stuff ish um but it, it's just a case of whether or not i'd be able to keep up with it again because last I, i've slow down on the uploads as a lot of you know because I just became lazy with it and when I feel the need that I have to do something I'm more likely not to do it because I'm like well I just I don't really want to but if I sort of it's like these these weekend ones I don't really have an excuse not to do one because I have a lot of people that really like the videos and for that you guys I really really like you you guys are all awesome um, so obviously if I skip a video one week and then I have to skip it the next week and so on and so forth it then uh, it, it doesn't look good for me but it's also I'm just then incredibly lazy I'm just I'm making you guys miss out on videos because I'm just like well no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it this weekend because I can CBA you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that I'll just I have less excuse to not do a video every weekend but obviously when it comes to the weekend, this is really cool. Like turning and stuff. I don't understand how it how the sound packs work when it comes to turning and stuff. But it's kind of cool. I really like those sounds. I don't know if they're sort of realistic when it comes to just using your brakes and those sound sounds work. And it's raining again. Yay! Um, but yeah, so. I think that's basically about it. I think I've managed quite a long time, but I've covered everything which I plan to talk about and everything which I didn't plan to talk about. Uh, so, yeah. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, links will be in the description for all of the mods used in the video. Um, and these are my three favourites at the moment. Um, the website is new, so feel free to check it out. Um, it has some really, really nice mods. I had trouble choosing interiors and stuff. Um, and just mods in general, so uh, so that's some love. Uh, feel free to tell me you sent me there, really. Uh, I sent you there even, that'd be nice if you can. I don't really can actually, there's not really any comment commenting stuff, it's just downloaded here. But it's really, it is a nice website which you guys should all check out. Um, and I, I'm doing my best to use websites and find mods which aren't on the main websites like ets 2outit because obviously then I feel like I'm just pointing out the obvious then if I'm using a website everyone uses and is well known then I don't really need to show you to those mods that are on those sites I like to show you to mods which I like which are on sort of in the background hidden away somewhere you know so uh, yeah uh, I do hope you enjoyed the video if you did then uh, show some love um, like share it I like th I like I like to see when the share button gets clicked and I'm gonna stop on this hill on the side of the road like this um, and leave you with this because it's awesome okay thanks for watching and goodbye.